Hey guys, in this video, I want to bring up a question. What is worse, having high insulin or having high glucose? Type down below what you think is worse, okay? Um, let's just talk about it. So the first thing to occur in the chain of events is high insulin, okay? Then a person develops insulin resistance, which is prediabetes. Then eventually they'll develop hyperglycemia, which is high sugar. Hyperglycemia is high amounts of sugar, which is now diagnosed as diabetes. But in this process right here, if their adrenals are weak, okay, they can actually develop hypoglycemia because the high amounts of insulin is driving down the sugar. And the body doesn't have the um, kind of the buffering, the neutralization of the low blood sugar. Like the adrenal is supposed to release sugar and the liver to kind of stabilize the blood sugar. So if there's problems with the adrenal, the person will first have hypoglycemic low blood sugar symptoms before they get hyperglycemia, high sugar. So high amounts of insulin has direct side effects, which we're going to talk about, and indirect side effects depending on what's happening with hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. Okay? So... The direct side effects from having high amounts of insulin would be cardiac hypertrophy, where the cells of the heart actually get bigger, like in cardiomegaly, where the heart doesn't fit into the chest cavity anymore. That creates a lot of problems with the, with the vessels and the valves and the, the actual work of the heart and the function of the heart. Thrombus, which is a clot. So when you have too much insulin, it really targets the large arteries to the heart, especially the wall of the heart, and it makes it stiff. It actually creates uh, lesions, it creates problems with placking, creates obstruction, and eventually you'll develop a clot. It can actually turn to a stroke or just have a heart attack. So high insulin is behind most all inflammatory conditions. It turns into diabetes, causes the fatty liver, makes you fat and obesity, causes the cancer. I'm gonna put some links down below. Alzheimer's because it affects the dimension and placking of the brain, amyloid placking. Metabolic syndrome, which is a combination of some of these we just talked about. The retina, that's the uh, eye, uh, nerve damage, and kidney damage. Other than that, it's totally fine. Now, when you have diabetes type 1, which you don't produce insulin anymore, so diabetics type 1 still have high insulin because they're being given insulin through an injection. The ultimate goal would be to decrease the amount of insulin that your body uses. So if you're diabetic and you're on medication, the goal would be to take the least amount possible. If you're not a diabetic, is to eliminate the foods that are triggering insulin. So I put a link down below exactly how to do that. Thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button. Forgot the last part. And I'm going to see you next time. Am I going to? I will press the... <clears throat> And uh, yeah, you'll get future uh, updates. That's right, updates. I knew there was a word. What's the last part? What should I say? Uh, how about, um, I'm not sure. Press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.